Hello everyone, Bartosz here. Welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, setting up IPv6 with Genus 3. Uh, after my last video I received a few emails requesting detailed tutorials uh, how to set up IPv6 with Genus 3. So uh, the clock is running out on IPv4 so it's time to move to IPv6. First question is how to get IPv6 addresses. Well, there are a few ways to do it. In my case, I could request them from my ISP, which is enta.net, get a chunk of IPv6 addresses and use them with my labs. However, I think the best way to get IPv6 addresses for labs is to get an IPv6 tunnel over IPv4 connection. Uh, in this way, you can keep your home network unaffected and still can use IPv6 with your home lab or Genius Free lab. How to get it? Tunnelbroker.net by Hurricane Electric Internet Service. Uh, this is a free service is dedicated towards developers and experimenters that want a stable tunnel platform. <laughs> Did I say it's free? Well, it is. Uh, what you need to do, you need to go to the website, uh, fill up form, activate your account. After you log in to your uh, account, uh, you can create new tunnel by clicking this thing here, add your IPv4 uh, address of your mm, router, my, my gateway, and then you can choose one of those uh, gateways for a tunnel. So, for example, I used uh, my um, Amazon EC2 for a testing, so I set it up with uh, LA Los Angeles uh, gateway. So when you create the tunnel, you go to your mine page and then you have uh, options here. What you need to do is click on the created tunnel, check details, uh, the server IPv4 address is this one here and my IP it should be here um, you can request uh, additional IP let's have a look on the second tunnel I have uh, my page yes you've got already assigned the 60 slash 64 but you can request also slash 48 so let's go back and now we need to move to configuration with Genus 3. Genus 3 quick overview. Uh, so I just create a simple topology, three routers. Um, I am using uh, three 3745, let's have a look here, preferences, uh, so I am using this iOS here, this one supports EIGRP uh, with IPv6, so we can, we can set it up routing later. So uh, we have this topology here, green IP addresses, this is a tunnel between uh, my router and the other end is the Hurricane Elect uh, Electric. Uh, I have also routed IPv6 network uh, slash 64 which I've subnetted to uh, three different networks uh, which is here, 156 colon colon 1 and 2 between these two routers then I have 0 200 between R2 R3 and then I have uh, 400 for Windows 7 and PC two subnet uh, IPv6 networks uh, I use online subnetting tools you can google them and uh, there are plenty of different ones Whatever you, you know, whatever you like. And just to make it uh, quicker as I'm trying to fit 10 minutes video, I will copy and paste configuration to the router console and uh, then I will go over them. 
Okay, so I have my uh, topology running, R1, R2, R3. Um, now we have to start setting them up. So I will copy and paste this configuration here and uh, I'll go through uh, with all settings. So, uh, well, at the beginning we're setting up IPv4 for uh, fast Ethernet 01, which is connected to uh, to the cloud, which is bridged with my Ethernet card. Uh, I have IPv4 addresses uh, assigned from my um, ISP, uh, which is slash 29, uh, 8 IP addresses. Um, you can probably use this with the NAT as well, but you probably will have to uh, do some kind of port forwarding between uh, my router and internal IP. So I didn't try that actually, I might do just uh, extra video for that. Uh, right, let's go back. So we have um, 0 01 uh, fast Ethernet with IP53, uh, no shot, then we go to fast Ethernet 00, and then we just set up only IPv6 with uh, this first IP with prefix 71, no shot, then we have to set up default gateway for um, IPv4. Uh, IPv6 unicast routing uh, turns routing on on the s on the router. Then we need to set up uh, routing ERGRP um, autonomous system one. Then router ID uh, just to make a simple one 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 for first router two 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 for second and three 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 for uh, third. Uh, redistribute static. Um, what? this does is um, redistribute static uh, roads to R2 and R3 uh, let's have a look uh, show IPv6 in, uh, back IPv6 road so what it does when we set up the um, tunnel between uh, R1 and Hurricane it will add additional uh, default route for IPv6 uh, so with uh, like like we set up the IP route here for uh, IPv4 0000, 000, 000 and the gateway it's exactly the same but for IPv6 but we will uh, get back to that later um, Okay, no shot, and then we have to uh, run ERGRP for uh, interface. So we have to go to the interface and set up IPv4 ERGRP1. Okay, so that concludes R1 for now. Now we have to go to R2. I can see I can't fit a uh, 10 minutes window, so uh, I will do uh, part 1 and part 2. This is part 1 and uh, R2 configuration. Um, fast Internet 00 and IP6 address with end 2 slash 71. Then we have another interface, fast 01 IP address. Then we have to switch the unicast routing, uh, IPv6 routing on and set up ERGRP uh, to work with uh, both interfaces um, router ID, no shot, then uh, interface range to turn ERGRP for interfaces um, I think I'll finish this part on uh, R2 and I'll skip to R3 in the next part